Hello, my friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy you're here. I've got a new clean with me for you today, and hopefully you'll find this motivating. So let's just get right to cleaning. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. Cleaning the living room is probably one of my absolute favorite rooms to clean. It's the biggest room in the house. It's what you see when you first walk in the door. So having this space clean and organized is such a relief. So I decided to start in here today. I had to kick the kitties off the couch. As you saw, they were right back. Don't worry. They're always asleep on the couch. And because they're always asleep on the couch, I vacuum this thing probably every other day. And then I love to use the Arm & Hammer carpet refresher. I buy it at the Dollar Tree. It smells amazing and it just gives a really fresh scent to the room. I try to wipe down my plants at least once a week to keep them dust free and healthy. I take them outside and give them water and sun once a week as well. Every Sunday, I try to do it on the same day every week so it's a routine and I don't forget. This is a new plant to me. This is a philodendron. We just recently purchased this at our local nursery and I did just recently buy two cloth baskets just waiting for them to arrive. I also bought a large mature snake plant from the same nursery and just made sure that I gave that a good rub down as well. And I promise they'll look so much better once those baskets come in. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm high on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. I don't care that my mind's gone insane and my heart will burst into flames. No, I don't care about the heartache and pain, just don't.
Once a week, I pull away all of the chairs from around the dining room table and I use the carpet refresher and make sure that I get the rug underneath the table really clean. I'll spot clean it if there's any marks on it. Luckily, the kids are pretty good about keeping their food on the table for the most part. We also have a little dog that is really good at cleaning up messes right away, so there's that. But I do just try to make sure that I'm spot cleaning it weekly so that way nothing builds up. And it really has been working. I'm sure everybody has that catch-all area in their house. Mine is this counter between our kitchen and the dining room. To be honest, I'd love to just tear this part out and just have a nice island in the center of my kitchen. Danny and I go back and forth on whether or not this is our forever home, and it's probably not. It is way too small for us, but we love it. If it were our forever home, we'd probably tear this out, but it just catches everything and today I didn't want to spend a ton of time cleaning up that area to the side that's all of our distance learning material and I really just don't have anywhere to put it so it stays on the counter it's used every single day it looks messy but hey it is what it is right now right I know we all have a least favorite place in our home to clean and I think I've mentioned here before that the kitchen is my absolute least favorite room to clean. It's one of my favorite rooms in the house but I just hate to clean it and I wonder if it's because I have to do it so often. I'm not sure but I just always feel like it's a mess. I always feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over no matter how much I beg my kids to put their dishes in the dishwasher as soon as they're done or to put things away when they're done using it. It just is never clean and it is such a pain to me to always be cleaning this room. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's all right. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive. I met you in the summer.
And I couldn't really make you stay, so what to do? I'm just staring at my walls and talking to myself Now and then I'll try to laugh, but I'll cry a bit as well I was never any good at being away from you I met you in the summer
say, don't mind the way I won't play. Don't like the game, cause I will stay. And I Once a week, I clean the sliding glass door and the window in the kitchen if it needs to be. And I use this special window and glass cleaner that I purchased at Home Depot. I'll have it linked down below. And I used to use the paper towels, but because those are kind of hard to find right now, I needed to figure out something else. And Danny and I had purchased this window cleaner from Home Depot to clean the windows. And I thought, what if I just used it to clean the glass all the time? And honestly, it gets it so clean. So I used an old method bottle to put the cleaner with some water in there and I just used it to spray it down. And I thought from now on, this is how I'm doing it. You You'll also see those white spots on the stucco that's because we're doing some stucco repair right now and you have to let it cure for a couple of days before you can paint it so that's why you see that there and then finally once a week I also try sometimes more than once a week I try to blow off the patio this is basically like vacuuming your backyard it's kind of the equivalent in my mind so we have this little blower it is a cordless blower it's super light it's really not even that loud and it just keeps everything really clean and I love the way the backyard looks right now and that's it for the downstairs nice and clean again for everybody to mess it all up <laughs> And of course, while I was downstairs working on the house, the boys were upstairs destroying the house. 
So as you can see, I needed to get some of this stuff done. So let's get right into cleaning this upstairs. Holy moly. Do you find random things in your kids bedrooms or playrooms that was a shower cap not really sure how it made it in there but it did tell me the craziest thing you've ever found in your kids toys or in their bedrooms while you were cleaning let me know down below in the comments I'm so curious I think the craziest thing I've ever found was a turkey baster <laughs>
The catch-all for the upstairs is clearly this table. This used to be the table in our living room, but we moved it upstairs and we decided we didn't want it down there anymore. And it's great because the kids love to color on it, but man, does it catch everything. It was pushed out of the way because the kids have been doing their Taekwondo and dance classes here at home. So sometimes they do them up in the loft. It's a really good space for it. But I made sure that I vacuumed before I put it back. But man, does that thing catch everything. And if you saw that paper box on the ground that was covered in colored electrical tape, the kids had made Charlie a dog bed. Needless to say, she never used it, but I thought it was pretty creative. Right after I finished the landing, my camera battery died and I just decided I was done for the day. So that is gonna be it for this cleaning video. If you enjoyed this get it all done, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I hope you found some good motivation in today's video and make sure you come back for more. I hope you guys have a great one. I'll see you soon. Bye.